every other species, even the Earth itself. Historian Dayton Duncan has teamed up again with renowned filmmaker Ken Burns for a four-hour, two-part documentary called The American Buffalo. The film tells the story of how the U.S. national mammal came back from the brink of extinction and its deep connection to indigenous communities and the land. For the film, 18 extended on-camera interviews were conducted, including several Montanans. Not only for um, wildlife to use... The result, it was more than 30 hours of material, not all of which could be included. But it did make up a sizable portion of the companion book by Duncan and Burns, Blood Memory, The Tragic Decline and Impossible Resurrection of the American Buffalo. It takes all the, the research and, and the story that's wrapped into uh, a four-hour documentary, but it includes a lot more information, a lot more of the things that uh, the different people that we interviewed had to say, and therefore it tells a, an even fuller story. Duncan says the film project, and subsequently the book, has been in the planning stages dating back years to other collaborations the pair did together, like Lewis and Clark and the National Parks. In both the book and the film, one prominent historian notes the near decimation of bison in the late 1800s represented the largest slaughter of wildlife in history. And while bison numbers are not expected to reach into the multi-millions like they once did, reintroduction efforts can play a key role in reconnection with native peoples. It's important to them for food you know, security, it's important for them economically, but most importantly, it's a reconnection of something that is so deep in their blood memory and in their traditions and in their history that, that uh, it, it can do a lot of good. Blood Memory is published by Alfred A. Knopf. It goes on sale October 10th. The American Buffalo airs on PBS October 16th and 17th. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.